Onwards, the rest of the way. I shall attend to it in a trice. Twenty hours all, all round trip. Right, hey, right. So you've just leveled. You're not going to level for ages. I know, still four hundred to go. Only two hundred for Jahira. So if we can get a side quest, we might be able to get Jahira up to level three three, which would be nice. Have you More hit points for everyone. Um, except Dine, you're not allowed hit points. You're a mage. Uh, right. Okay, There's, are there any other doors we can go into? I think we've been in everywhere around here, haven't we? I'm guessing the map will just say, friendly Armin Temple. Hmm. I mean, we could have another go at trying to find Basilis. Is this a doorway we can enter? Um, we could have another go, like, try and go to the area where Basilis was. I can't remember which area that was. So that's probably not a great idea. We can't go in there. Oh! Kagan, Kagan, however I pronounce your name, you're still here. I have a party of six, and I like them more than I like you. You're evil, evil. I think was he lawful evil? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Right, there's Dawn. I think that's Dawn. Dawn Yilkan. Please seat yourselves whatever you wish. I shall talk to I shall talk to Welp. I need some ale. Oh, look at these forks and tankards. This iron shelf just shows no mercy on us drunkards and gormans. Um, whatever could be wrong with your fork and tankard? They be made of iron, yet they bend under the wheat weight of this inn's meagre offerings, and the handle breaks on me tankard to spill this rat's bit of an ale into my lap. Ah! Nessie, get me another. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I wonder if there's Essex around here as well. Yes. Ah, new face in this cloistered place. Stand by my side and let's talk for a while. What brings you here, traveller? I was an apprentice blacksmith under Tyrum Foyroim in Beragost. With the iron shortage being what it is, however, I thought I'd better head somewhere else. Waterdeep, maybe. Tarim's having enough trouble making a go of it as it is. What is it this yeah, we've all well, we visited him. Okay. You There's no one else boss. named. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll go into the kitchen and get told off. I think if there was a quest, we'd be na It would be someone named. Let's not try and loot places. Hmm. Could go up another level. See if. Because that's where Khalid and Jahira were. I think we would have noticed someone else there. Sorry, he's wandered off. Wandered off. Wandered off. You are just sleeping man, aren't you? I shall attend to it in a trice. Oh, 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 you want to pop up? Sleeping elf. Nobleman! Unshi, you are named Questage. You cannot get better than the stability stone walls provide. Here we go. Have you heard? There's a rogue ogre with a belt fetish to the south of the friendly arm in. I had to bargain my new girdle of piercing for my life out of here. Wasn't even interested in an autographed copy of my book. Hey, if you can get that belt back to me, I'd be mighty grateful. Right. This is the quest I, th I had done. Okay. I don't know where this guy is. I think he's on the road down. So. It shall be as you wish. How is everyone? Okay, we've been walking for. T we'll have been walking for about 20 hours, so I think we will heal and rest. I think makes sense. So. You heal. You've taken a bit of damage. You heal Khalid. And uh, we'll have uh, a quick rest. Right, so, merchant rest. Let's just. We'll rest and head to where this ogre is. And. Uh, Try and get it. I think I'm, I think I remember where he is. How may I be of assistance? I, shall I think I remember him also killing me a few times. Then again, was a mage. So we have to take that. We need to remember these facts. You have but to ask. Stupid mages. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Yeah, I think mages would probably be a bit more useful if, um. If we weren't playing, if if this if it, if it were actually turn-based rather than this 
whatever this is. Obfuscated turn-based real-time nonsense. Um, I'm not a fan of this. I, I, I keep complaining about it. I should just stop. My view on on this turn-based mechanism thing is is well documented by me on this channel. So, right, I think we're here. Here's where we're going. By enemies and must yes, or nice. Okay, kill the doggies. Kill the doggies. Sorry, I've got work tomorrow, so I've got to uh, pretend to be ill. So I can miss it. Um, that's complete lie. I don't know, I've just got a tickly throat, it feels like. Right, one dog dead. Right, who are you targeting? You're having that one, so mince. Go okay. Let's blow up like that. Fair dead. Everyone attack this one then. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Party has gained some experience. Huzzah! Yeah, I can see us gaining quite, getting quite a bit of experience by uh, once we've done this one. I mean, gaining quite a bit of experience. I mean, having some levels. Having some more levels. We, uh, I think we're going to get up this way. That's where we're meant to go. No, I think this is the wrong way. I think we're meant to go... Actually, I can't remember. I think this is the right map, though. Which is the key thing. I think it might actually be just below us. From what little memory I have of this. Yeah, I think we've... Yeah, I think we've gone over him. Right, okay. Back we go. Back we go, chaps. I think, yeah, it's... Down. I think we'll just we'll hug the cliff. I think. I know. I know. Jahir is more into the hugging of trees and not the hugging of cliffs, but uh, <laughs> it's funny because she's a druid. Um. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. But I think if we just follow the cliff round, we should get to the ogre in question. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to have everyone catch up, especially to Gareth, considering he is our main combat. Well, him and Minsk, but I think he's more a. Uh... So Gareth is slightly more defensive with his. His armor class is quite high, isn't it? It's, it would, well, I say quite high, it's good, which is actually low. Because, just to be confusing, isn't it? There we go, Mr. Ogre. Right, can everyone just attack this fellow? Whatever they need. Magic missile. Aha, there we go. There's the cold damage kicking in. That blue spark kind of thing. Yeah, good, you're throwing. There we go. He's done. We have several belts. Now, if memory serves, we do not want to use them. Well, there's one we don't want to use, and I don't know which one it is. I think one of them was cursed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh dear. Retreat! Retreat, squishy people! Retreat! Okay, is this a wolf or uh, something else? It might be a dog. It's a wolf. It is several wolves. Obviously, they they uh, have their their uh, where do wolves stay? But they have their wherever wolves stay around here somewhere. Um, nest? Uh, that doesn't sound right. Lair? What good with lair? Lair's a nice word. Word. Lair. So the, uh, the, the 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 wolves' lair is around here somewhere, and they're just coming back after a hunt and. You know, they found us, and they see us as threats, you know, standard stuff, really. Who are you targeting? Go ahead. Okay. So, they, 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 they want to take, they want to kind of protect their lair, maybe, maybe there's cubs, and uh, we're killing their parents. 
You don't want to put you put it like that. We're not really good guys in this, are we? Then again, they could be just predatory animals who, like the bandits, are just attacking random travellers. And therefore, we would be good characters. So that's what we'll tell anyone who asks. Um, we could, like, paintbrush through this area as well, but... I think now I've done this, I think we... Where how far are you off from levelling if I go to the right page? 120. So if we get 720 experience from this quest, then, <laughs> um, then, uh, then she'll level. I don't think we're going to get that much experience from this. Hmm. Back to the friendly I'm in. You have but to ask. And we'll hand in this to Unshi, who might give us something exciting. And obviously we have the other item... The other, because he, he asked for his belt of piercing, I think he said, so he'll take that one and then leave us with the other one, which I think is. Which I think was a cursed item, so we don't want to use it. Um, but I can't remember. I might be wrong. So, um, we'll. Uh, at that point, I think we'll definitely I want to ident get it identified. Because it, cause it's magic. It's a magic item, so it'll either be valuable or. You have I mean, that's the thing with magic items is you want to get them identified because they will be worth more, and then you know if you can use them as well, like if they're cursed or not. You have but to ask. So where's Anchi? Anchi's in this room, I think. Memory serves. Hello. Hello. You cannot get better than the stability stone walls provide. Thanks for getting this back to me, damn we adore though, don't you think? Here's 95 gold pieces for your trouble and a new history book I've just completed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, we won't level on this, we won't. Yeah, we now have a level 3 fighter, level 3, a level, uh, yeah. Jahira, who's now fighter level 3, druid level 3. You get one extra, st can I put that in club? No, I can't put it in club. Quarterstaff, sling. Sword and shield style, could go with that I suppose. Huh. Cause you're not using the... I don't think we're using much uh, ranged, so we'll go with sh sword and shield. Um, yes, base echo is 18. How many hit points do you have? You have 36 hit points. You have... Oh no, I was going to say you have the most hit points, but you don't now. So close. But a laugh. Um... Emma wins an early level four. What is it this <laughs> time? Right. Uh, oh, we got another item, didn't we? We got a new item. We got the history of Tether. Uh, for the past one thousand. How long is this? This is quite long. I'm tempted to read it though. Have I read the other ones? Oh, I did read that one. So I should read this as well. <clears throat> it might be relevant. Who knows? The history of Tether. For the past 1,500 years, Tethir has had a single strong royal family ruling with absolute power. When a king died or became incapacitated, his oldest son took the throne. As the family trees of those close to power became more in intertwined and complicated, there were the inevitable wars of succession and bickering over which second cousin was the true heir to the throne. Civil wars were brief, however, and once the fighting was over, the system returned to normal, until the next major dispute in a few hundred years or so. The established reoccurring cycle was broken 10 years ago. The current ruling family had been in power for over 350 years, so long that they had dropped their own family name centuries ago, no one even remembers it now, and simply called themselves Tethir. King Alamander IV was comfortably ruling from Castle Tethir, and the country seemed happy enough, but there was a broad current of dissatisfaction among the people of Tethir. Non-humans were forbidden by law to own land. And since most rights and privileges accorded citizen citizens were based on land ownership, they became second class citizens as well. Things were especially bad for elves who were driven deep into the forest of Tithir by royal armies. Alamander IV took land away from rightful owners and gave it to nobles who promised larger contributions to the royal treasury. These social and economic inequities, coupled with several harsh winters and bad harvests in a row, made the time ripe for a change. It takes more than just a couple of lousy winters to depose a king, however. It takes treachery as well. In the case of the fall of House Tethir, it took an ambitious general and an impatient royal heir. Prince Alamander grew tired of waiting for the robust Alamander IV to make room for him, 
so he struck a deal with General Nashram, Nashram Shalbaneth, commander of the king's largest army. While Shalbaneth marched his army towards Tathia, bringing along a sizable group of angry peasants recruited with the promise of land reform, the would-be Alamander V downplayed alarming reports from the king's spies and advisers, silencing the most persistent permanently through murder or exile. By the time Sharbaneth's army arrived and laid siege to Castle Tafir, it was too late for loyalists to help. As Sharbaneth launched a direct assault on the castle, using the expendable peasants as shock troops, a handful of elite soldiers let in a secret entrance by the prince would eliminate key guards and open the gates. At the same time, the prince, one of the few people allowed to see the king directly, would murder his father. A fire set by the elite troops would destroy evidence of treachery, the general and prince would emerge from the conflagration and announce a new joint government. The plan was executed perfectly, but only up to a point, obviously. Charbonneth double-crossed the prince, of course he did. His men were much too efficient in setting the castle ablaze, and Prince Alamander, along with most of his fellow conspirators, died horribly in the fire. At about the same time, a spy planted on the general's inner staff by the equally duplicitous Alamander murdered the general and dissolved his body with a powerful acid before anyone could come to his aid. <laughs> oh dear. To make matters worse, everyone had underestimated the resentment the people felt for the royal family. Once Castle Tathia began to fall, there was no holding back the mob. In one night, the proudest, strongest castle in all the country was reduced to a smoking ruin. Everything of value, fine tapestries, plates and silverware, furniture, jewellery, weapons, clothes, armour, paintings, statues and so on, were either stolen, burned, or just ripped apart and stomped into the dust. As news of the fall of the royal family spread, so did the chaos. In, in what is now known as the Ten Black Days of Elaint, anyone known or even suspected of blood connection to the royal family was put to the sword. This led to some darkly humorous moments as social climbers who had bragged just a week before of being a sixth cousin twice removed of a royal aunt tried in vain to convince an angry mob that they were only kidding. The nobles who were the biggest supporters of the royal family also came under attack, and some baronial keeps fell. Local leaders who had adequately distanced themselves from the Tathir family all were popular enough, or feared, or strong enough, survived. These surviving nobles became the initial players in the fight to decide the fate of Tathir. One thing was certain, any leader or type of government that too closely resembled rule under the Tathirs would not be accepted. Royalist became a dirty word in Tathir society. The power struggle continues to this day, and there is no sign of it ending anytime soon. Okay, I don't think that was entirely relevant. Okay, we have Girdle. Girdles are generally similar to belts. Unlike belts, girdles are not used to hold up pants and dungarees, but to carry pouches, scabbards, and the like. Mm. Yes. I, shall attend to it in a truck. I think we should head to... Where can we get this identified? Any shop. I think we can also get it identified at the temple. 